Welcome back everybody to another episode of some building big wood germ. How's everybody doing today? Last episode we worked on this area a little bit and did some talking about the nether update for 1.16 and I've done a little bit more work off camera on some houses here and I think they turned out pretty good. I like them, especially this one for some reason. I really like this house, uh, but the rest of these are pretty cool too. So today, I think I mentioned at the very end of last episode that we're going to be moving on to a new project today. And I've kind of got it started already. And uh, it's way off back near our spawn area. I was wanting to have a area in like a coral reef biome, but I could not find any that looked like super good in my world and uh, spawned near a location that I wanted. So I decided to just go for something a little bit different. Uh, so, I'm going to go ahead and head off that way now, and I'll come back in just a minute once we're out there. Alright, here we are in the new project area. No, uh, this portal spawned in the wrong location, so I had to dig up. But this is where we are in the, uh, what used to be the snowy spawn area. Well, I guess not spawn anymore, because we moved that out to a different place. But, uh, yeah, this is where we're at. So I decided to melt all the snow in the area because I just wasn't really uh, liking it too much. I think we could do some cool, uh, more interesting stuff with grass here or regular grass, like a regular plains biome. Uh, but this is not what we're working on. This area, we'll probably be working on this uh, just kind of on the side with our main project. But if we head out this way towards the savanna biome, so if you don't remember from the world tour, if you didn't see the world tour, uh, there's this this uh, project here, this kingdom, and then right over that way across a few uh, savanna mountains, we have a uh, like a Tuscan type area with a vineyard. But we've kind of got a big empty area in between here and there, so I figured why not start a new project right here. And here it is. This is what we're going to be doing. We are going to be building a steampunk city right here, right in this little flyer forest area. And I've made a small house. I mean, it looks pretty massive, but it's small compared to all the other houses that we're going to be building. Uh, so let's go ahead and hop over here. And yeah, I think it looks really, really good. But let's talk about the plans for this area. So uh, I actually originally had planned on doing like a gothic city in this biome. Uh, I don't know why I never started it, but uh, there was a sign over here that said like Gothic City location or something like that, uh, but I removed that and I also actually reset the chunks in this area because in some update, the terrain changed just a little bit and added that Savannah Mountain right there. Let's go ahead and turn off the clouds. Uh, added that mountain right there, the Savannah Plateau, or not Savannah Plateau, the Savannah M. Actually, I think it's called Shattered Savannah now, but uh, yeah, added that mountain there and extended the uh, the flyer forest just a little bit. So if you go into the world download, this this is not going to be here. The flyer forest ends off probably like right right here ish, right where this uh, line here is with the the birch trees. Uh, but I don't know for some reason some change made it made it come a little bit further this way so that's nice that's pretty cool and also added this of course so yeah that's very interesting but i think it's pretty cool and i think it's gonna be cool to have this as like a backdrop we may even do some building on it but for now we're probably not going to so what i want to do here is basically completely uh overhaul this entire biome probably so what I want to do here, I want to make just a big packed city of uh, these like Tudor style houses, the steampunk stuff. I think it could be pretty cool. Let's go ahead and take a look at the house that I already built. Here it is. And if you want to see a tutorial on this, let me know. I would be uh, I would be happy to do that. I think it's uh, I think it's a really, really cool house. I like it a lot. I've been really enjoying the style lately where you just kind of stack things up. I did this on my world transformation uh, series for my first house that I built in Minecraft. And I've, I've just been doing like some practice builds with this style as well. If you saw the ep end of the last episode, you saw some of it. So yeah, I think it's pretty cool. And we don't have anything too interesting on the inside just yet. 
uh, but yeah I got a little dirt floor in here and then uh, a couple a couple floors going up but no decoration or anything not even I haven't even moved a storage in here yet so uh, yeah nothing interesting going on there but yeah I think this house turned out pretty cool I like it quite a bit and today we are gonna go ahead and we're gonna try to do a few houses over there at least one I don't know how many we'll be able to get but at least at the very least I want to get one house one big house done so let's just go ahead and jump straight into that All right, we're back, and I've been doing a little bit of work here, as you can see, working on this house. Uh, I had to go get some more bone blocks, so that set me back quite a bit. I, I had to uh, spend a lot of time working on that, but I think this house is looking pretty good. I like it quite a bit. I still need to get this side done, obviously, and the back, but I figure let's, let's go ahead and do some work on this together. So we need to go one, two, three, four, pillar, one, two, three, four, pillar. And then this will be the same as the front, I believe. But we're just gonna fill this all in like that. Stone bricks on the top. Cobblestone here, stone bricks on top. And then grab a barrel and spruce logs. And we'll go barrel there. Spruce log here, here, and here. And strip those, of course. And then barrel there. And I think we just take a spruce log all the way across here. Now, instead of just building the wall straight up, we're going to go over here and we're going to do stair there, stair there. And then let's see if we can climb up here real quick. Man, I thought building in a jungle was difficult. Building in a forest, it, the trees are so low and uh, I just, they're just so annoying. In the jungle, you can just walk on top of the, on top of the little bushes and be fine, but man is uh, really annoying to build in a forest. <laughs> uh, but we're gonna go out like that with the stairs. And then here we'll take out this log. We'll have to clear out these leaves real quick. We'll bring this log out right here. One, two, three. And then again, strip that of course. Then we'll put a trap door on the ends of these, uh, just like that. And we're gonna do stair facing this way and then stairs facing this way going in to give it just this little uh, little design under the uh, the floor here. And then one, two, three slabs there, and slabs there, stair there, and two full blocks right there. And you know what, I did say I was probably gonna do a tutorial on this house, so I'm not gonna go through each step uh, and tell you how to do it. So if you would like to see a tutorial, make sure to let me know down in the comments below. Uh, but we're pretty much good here. Just need to fill this in with bone block and then I'll have to go uh, across the front here in a minute and put in all the details and the windows and stuff. Uh, but let's bring this across like that. So there we go. That's what we got right now. And I think it looks pretty cool, but I uh, need to add some more details onto it. So I'm going to do that really quick now. All right. Now we're going to build a little water wheel. So we're going to come out, I think, one, two, three, four, five. Was that five? Yes. And we'll strip that, and we're doing that with uh, dark oak. Um, and then, you know what? Let me go ahead. I'm going to build the edge of this roof real quick, and uh, I'll be back in a second. All right, there we go. That should make things a little bit easier for us. So we're going to take some of this oak wood, make it into sticks so we can make some fences, and then we'll go one, two, three. We'll put one on the bottom as well two, three, like that. And let's just climb down here real quick. Boom, boom. And then we're gonna go, well, let's put a button on the front here before I forget about it. 
Uh, oh boy. We're gonna have to lose something here. Okay, we'll put a button there. And then we're gonna go upside down stair here. Right side up there. Uh, one there, like that. All right, there we go, that's the shape. And then we're gonna go in with some trap doors and face them like that. One there, one, let's see, one here, and one there. There we go, that's pretty much it for that. Uh, now, I'm gonna have to replicate this onto the other side here. And then, uh, then we'll put some water in here. All right, there we go, we got that thing all filled out now. We need to find a place for it to fall from now. We'll eventually make it into like a river probably, uh, but the water will fall right there. Now I need to go grab a bucket of water really quick. All right, let's go ahead and climb up here and put in our water. And I think I'm gonna put it, let's see, one more, yep, there we go. I think I need to put it right on this block. Let's try it. Any leaks? No, okay. Good, good, good. Now, that doesn't make sense. It just coming straight from the water wheel here. So, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna build a giant building right here, or the facade of one for today. But, uh, yeah, now I'm gonna go ahead and get to work on that, and I will be back in just a little bit. All right, there we go. There is the finished product. Well, semi-finished product. We still have a lot to build up top here uh, in the back, but I think this is looking pretty cool. This gives the idea that I want. This gives the effect that I want for this area. And uh, yeah, I really like that. I think it turned out so cool. Let's step back. Let's step back quite a bit and take a look. Yeah, this is gonna be really cool. Having just a big city of this just as you're coming into this area. It's gonna be so cool. Very, very, very cool. We have too much stuff in the way right now, but uh, once we get some a bunch of wood farmed up, we can take all these down and uh, just get a straight on view of it. But yeah, I think that's pretty much gonna do it for this episode. Hopefully you all enjoyed. Uh, I had a lot of fun doing this today, building this up and building that up. I think they all turned out really cool. Uh, I'm very, very happy with this stuff. I'm very excited to get some more stuff in here. It's not a very big biome, uh, so we can fill it up pretty quickly. And I don't think we're gonna be doing much outside of this biome, so. This is probably gonna be a fairly short project, to be honest, even though it's like massive, massive builds. Uh, it's just it's just wood, uh, dark oak, and a lot of spruce. So uh, it's not too difficult to farm up a bunch of it. The main thing is the prismarine, really. So yeah, I think this turned out pretty cool. Let me know what you think. Whoops, I missed a button right there. Uh, I don't have any buttons on me, but I'll I'll fix that later. But yeah, hopefully you all enjoyed. I was kind of hoping that we could get that mountain as like a backdrop for this area, but <laughs> I think, I think this, uh, I mean, just this house alone is kind of blocking that view. So. I mean, we could see it peeking up a little bit at the top, but we're gonna build a massive building on top of this as well, so. Yeah, that's kinda gonna disappear, I think. But yeah, hopefully you all enjoyed. If you have any ideas for this little uh, this little project that we're working on, this little city, let me know. Uh, if you have any ideas for the roads, 
let me know because this is kind of kind of going to be difficult to figure out, I think. Make sure if you do have any ideas, send them over in my Discord or on Twitter, uh, like screenshots if you have any of that. Uh, but yeah, that's going to do it. Hopefully you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like and I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.